Bless here. Welcome back to my channel. I'm coming on today with a different kind of video for you guys. It is a collab video and it's called the Glam Revamp Collab for 2020. And I'm doing this collab with Miss Uniquely Tay. And we're doing this collab together. What we're going to do with this collab is we are taking any little thing that you have sitting at home, whether it's a decor piece that you bought for your home that you've had for a while, or any little item you can find around your home that you can revamp, glam it up some more, change the color, add things to it, and present it again as something new and fresh for your home decor for 2020. That's what this collab is about today. And like I told you, it's me and Uniquely Tay doing it together. She has a DIY channel, and she does a little bit of everything on her channel. DIY, she does hauls to let you see things. She does eating and chit chat on her channel but mostly DIYs yeah and I'm gonna leave a link below to her channel so you guys can go over and check out her video for what she is doing for this glam revamp of 2020 so if you're new here welcome to my channel and I hope you hit the subscribe button and press the bell so you'll be notified every time I upload another video to share with you guys all right everyone let's get into the items that we're doing for today's Glam Revamp Collab for 2020. All right, everyone. Here's the things we'll be using for today's revamp. Yeah, I got this iPhone case here. The little case you get the iPhone in. And then I have this um, crystal vase, you can call it. I had this for a while also. And then we have our painting. Yeah, I got this painting from Ikea. I've had it, OMG, um more than 10 years now I've had this painting and I'll be using these items here to help with our revamping of these items today all right everyone you know what time it is it's time to let's get started all right everyone we're gonna start with our picture that we have here we're gonna revamp this picture give it a little more life and we're gonna use some white glitter here you can get this from Walmart Michaels a little craft store I guess and we'll also be using some Mod Podge. And I'll also be adding these little um, clear crystal things here. So we're going to mix the glitter and the Mod Podge together. And now we're just going to add it to our painting. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm just going to add it, not to everywhere, but mostly to the leaves because I want it to have a pop. The leaves that are standing out more within the painting, that's where I'll be adding the glitter. And now I'm going to add our little clear crystal pieces everywhere. And this is how it looks with all the crystals and everything on there. It's not dry yet. The Mod Podge has to dry. But so far so good. It's looking very nice. So I'm going to set it aside and let it dry overnight. And now I have this vase here. It looks like a large drinking glass. Eh? I got it at a wedding. Oh my gosh. I've had this for about 15 years or more. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm going to use this flower bling wrap to add to it. Just to, you know, bling it out. Give it a different appearance. I've had it plain like this for many years. So now I want to change it up and do something different with it. Yeah. Now we're going to put the bling wrap going up the vase. And now I'm going to use some of our bling wrap from Totally Dazzled. I think it would look nice going in between our flower bling wrap. So I'm just going to add it going all the way around. You would be here or not, here or not. And I respect that you didn't take that from me Girl, you respect yourself uh, Cause girl, right now you are all that I And now I'm gonna add some more of the flower wrap to the bottom of our vase I wasn't, I was gonna leave it empty 
but I think it looks a little nicer with the bling wrap going down there too. And now for our regular bling wrap, I'm going to be placing it on the bottom because I think the same pattern that's on the top should reflect on the bottom of the vase also. And now for our glam revamp number three, I'll be using this iPhone case to make a lovely little trinket box because these cases are nice and sturdy. So all I do is just I tore out the inside of the box, <laughs> just tear out everything. <laughs> and then we're going to add some white paint to the lid, only the lid of the box we're painting to get rid of the iPhone picture and all that good stuff. <laughs> And I'll let it dry and then I'll add a second coat. And now our lid is all dry. See, now you can't see the words of the iPhone anymore. <laughs> so the inside of the box is kind of messed up. When I tore out the pieces, so I just took a piece of glitter paper and just shove it inside. So see, now the bottom looks much better with the glitter paper inside. So now we're going to take the lid and bling it out with our bling wrap. Yes. Yeah, we're just going to put the bling wrap going all around the top and I'll be using some hot glue again. You can use any adhesive that you would like to use to glue down your project. And now with some strips of bling wrap, we're going to start to decorate the side of our box going right around. The four corners, I'll be putting the two strips of the bling wrap. And now, I'll be taking the single strips of bling wrap and decorating the sides. I'm going to do one long, one short, one long, one short going all around our box. And here are our box. <laughs> the top part is all done with the strips going right around like I told you, all the corners right around our box. So we're going to take these legs here that I got off Amazon. They're little knobs, um, crystal knobs for dressers. I'm going to be using them for legs. Yeah, and I'll be using some hot glue. Again, use any adhesive that you'd like to glue down your project. I'm just using the hot glue. And now I'm going to put three knobs on the top of our container also. Again, hot glue. <laughs> and you know I don't measure, I just eyeball it. And now I'm adding my gems from Totally Dazzled. You know I am nowhere without my gems. I absolutely love them. I'll be adding it to the front of our box. Alright everyone, I just wanted to remind you of how the IKEA picture looked before I glammed it out. And here's how it looks after. I love how it turned out. And with the white glitter and the little crystal sparkle things, the little clear sparkle beads that I've added to it, I think it looks lovely and I love it I've had this picture now oh you guys probably over it's definitely over 10 years but I've been sick 10 years and I purchased this picture way before I was sick so I think it was time for it to get a revamp and I absolutely love how it turned out so you can take items in your home and just freshen them up and have a glam revamp <laughs> for your home for 2020 here are our other two revamp DIYs, yes. <laughs> the iPhone box, yes, that we turned into a glam trinket box. And this vase, look like a wine glass that I've had from I went to a wedding over 15 years ago. And it looks absolutely beautiful. I think they both turned out lovely. See the trinket box? Oh, it looks so nice. Oh. And my gems from Totally Dazzled, yes. Would you believe this is a phone case box? Would you believe it? I wouldn't. <laughs> oh, it looks absolutely beautiful. I love it. <laughs> and our vase here, which I've had sitting around for the longest time, not doing anything with it, but I just loved it because it was oversized. And now I glammed it up, give it a new look. Like I said, glam revamp for 2020. 
And here is our trinket box. Yes, our iPhone trinket box that we've revamped up. Yes. <laughs> and it looks so nice. And with the knobs on it, it opens up so easy. I think it looks absolutely lovely. And as you see, the lid just glides right back on. <laughs> And here is our martini glass. Yep, our oversized martini glass. Glammed out and I added flowers and some lights so you could use it as a vase. Oh, look at without the lights. Doesn't it look lovely? I think it looks absolutely lovely. It would be nice if you're in your home by the fireplace or something. Lights kind of dim. And then you have this anywhere you want to place it within your home. It looks absolutely lovely. Alright everyone, that's it for my Glam Revamp collab of 2020 that I am doing with You Neatly Tay. Remember, I'm going to leave the link below. You guys go over and check out her video to see what she did for our Glam Revamp collab. <laughs> and leave me a comment down below and tell me which one you like the best <laughs> of these three revamp DIYs that I did for you guys today. And don't forget to give me a like, press that thumbs up button. And if you're new to my channel, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and press the bell so you'll be notified every time I upload another video. Alright everyone, remember, as always, stay blessed from Petal is Blessed. And I will catch you on the next one. Bye bye everyone.